Hello Whiskey Tourists, this is Whiskey Whistle, I'm your host Mark, and welcome to Glenmorangie Week. Yes, it's whiskey review number 125, but we're going to be doing Glenmorangie all week long. Now we're going to be starting with uh, my missing couple of Glenmorangie legends, that's the duty free offerings, the first being Tain. Previously I have done uh, the Dutak, which is sitting here, quite a while ago. That is in fact one of my most popular uh, videos here. And then we'll look at uh, the Tarlogan, which is a um, limited edition part of the Legend series. I think they're going to change that perhaps every year. Okay, so we'll look at that. And uh, now I've been holding on, to, holding on to it for quite a while. Uh, I should have done this earlier perhaps, but we'll go on to this year's private edition from Glenmorangie, which is called Milshan. Uh, and another one that's missing from my range is part of the Extra Matured series, and I have a miniature of it here, and that is the La Santa. This one's a sherry, uh, sherry cask, extra matured, uh, unchill filtered offering from Glenmorangie. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to clear away the, the table here, get rid of Dutak and Tarlogan, Milshan, put it there maybe, and there we are. And now all I'm left with is the Tain box, the Tain bottle, my water for mixing with uh, the whiskey, my trusty Glen Cairn glass. If you don't have one of these, make sure you get one. Uh, a cup of black coffee because it's going to be a long night here on the channel for me. Uh, and a glass of water to clear my palate with. So we'll get it poured right away. This is Glenmorangie Legends, the Tain. It's 43% ABV. Um, no mention of chill filtration uh, or coloring. And this one, uh, this is a sherry cask finish. Uh, and this one is called Amontillado. So Amontillado Sherry Cask Finish. There's a bit of a story there. And I should say that this is actually my, my second take of this one. I, uh, you know, regular, uh, like a camcorder has a red light telling you that uh, things are recording. Well, uh, that should be something new for perhaps iPhone 7S to have a little tiny red light or something, something happening so that the, uh, the person such as me knows that uh, the camera's rolling. Um, I shot the entire thing and lo and behold, I had not, well, I thought I shot it. I hadn't pushed uh, the start button. So then when I was finished, I pushed the stop button, which I thought was the stop button, but it was actually the start button. And then I, I filmed about 17 minutes of nothingness, so too bad. All right, well, um, hopefully the second time's the charm. We'll let that mix up just a little bit. And I mentioned uh, Glenmorangie Week. Now, I'm not just going to do these four. What I'm going to do after I've finished with um, the Tain, the Tarlogan, Milshan, and La Santa, is I am going to then... Um, and again, this has never been done before on YouTube, I, I assure you. Then I will put all of the basic Glenmorangie, uh, not the Signet. Uh, I, have, I have one on hand here, but I'm not going to open it. Uh, it's an older one. Um, and yes, that does matter. Signet is not Signet. There's Signet and then there's Signet. Um, anyway, so um, uh, everything that I've done so far will have out along with these ones. So that, that'll be in total 11 different Glenmorangie. Glenmorangie? I don't know. Anyway, so let's get on with this now. So that's the plan. So these four reviews, they'll all come out in the same week since it's, I'm calling this Glenmorangie week, as will the, uh, the roundup, the uh, Glenmorangie uh, 11 expression roundup. I'll have to think of a, a snappy name for it. Well, um, let's carry on here. Now, one more thing, just quickly before I uh, get onto the nosing. Uh, you'll notice the photos rolling through. 
and there's a, a special one at the very end or at the beginning depending on where you started watching and that is for uh, a donation now you notice my mustache I'm sure surely by now you've noticed that that's coming and there it is that's the one um, rather than uh, my usual um, Movember membership uh, I have a, a profile there and I've raised a bit of money from a Movember and I will again in the future I'm asking my subscribers who feel like making a small donation to do so to a very good friend of mine in the UK his name is Ben Bowers he has a channel called a drama day a d r a m a d a y a drama day and you can give to him um, and this is for I, I, I think last time I mentioned uh, children's cancer it's not children's cancer it is uh, come on now continue oh no please don't do that uh, come on okay stop it okay uh, this is for children's heart surgery fund in fact not cancer but uh, again a very very worthy cause so you can donate by going to www.justgiving.com backslash A-D-R-A-M A-D-A-Y justgiving.com backslash a drama day he's doing a review a day uh, for the year the year 2016 so 366 in total and he wants to raise at least 5,000 pounds uh, towards children's heart surgery um, anyway great cause so if you can spare a dollar if you can spare a pound if you can spare uh, a thousand won if you're here in Korea or a hundred n if you're in Japan um, why not why not give that uh, give that a go uh, I don't know all the monies of the world but uh, you know the uh, the yuan in China if you got some of those to spare why not just uh, uh, send it along uh, that'll go to a very good cause okay on to the nosing now this is for Glenmorangie Tain as I've mentioned uh, color wise first of all um, kind of a burnished orange hue now that's a sherry cask finish so there should be more color coming from the cask uh, this is beyond gold It's beyond Indian gold it's into the copper end of things okay now before the nose we'll have a very short advertisement right there welcome back Tain from Glenmorangie the nose let's check it out together very spicy very sweet there's a little bit of nuttiness to it there's a hint of youth to it I must say I've come to know the smell of young whiskey and a little bit in there but that's nothing to be uh, alarmed about um, now what did I write here I wrote that it's fresh and fruity bourbon sweetness plus a sherry fruitiness yeah it's definitely got a sweet um, kind of that ex bourbon oak influence and then there's some fruitiness that's a little bit different from the regular Glenmorangie 10 year old so that's from the sherry uh, the Amontillado casks hopefully I've got that pronunciation okay and uh, as I wrote also here um, youthful almond nuttiness so there's uh, a nutty character an almond like character that is actually usually in the um, the Glenmorangie kind of standard nose but um, this is a little bit on the young side so that nuttiness um, really develops with age and here it's presented a little on the young side and for fruits I've written here oranges lemons peaches and uh, if you give it enough time it's almost like a potpourri a potpourri of um, those citrus fruits along with uh, peaches and uh, with more time uh, caramels vanillas come through some orange toffee uh, milk chocolate and raisins and I'm not getting those just yet 
but trust me, they're there, at least uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, on to the taste now. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. It's a really nice juxtaposition of sweetness and sourness. Um, and I wrote here, Glenmorangie 10 plus extra orange and peach. And then there's a slight kind of a gummy fruitiness, fruit gumminess, fruit gummies, gummy worms, that kind of thing. Hmm. It's very juicy. Really, really well rounded, very well balanced palette. Let me just walk you through that one more time. There's a spicy richness at the forefront. And then you get this development of um, citrus fruits and the peaches that, um, what did I mention? The fruit gumminess, fruit, uh, gummy candy, that kind of thing. Um, you know, Haribo. See now, it, it may be because it's mixed a little bit with your saliva. You take a sip or two and then there's something that changes. And you know, you try, I really try not to allow any backwash, as we call it, where I'm from, I'm not sure what you call it, um, but no doubt there would be a little bit. And even uh, as it comes up towards the end there, there's gonna be a little bit of uh, my saliva present there. So now I'm, I can smell a little bit of this chocolatey, milk chocolate end of things, along with some raisins. So that's interesting. Um, and with enough time, you will get big, big fruitiness on the palate uh, and caramel emerging. Finish-wise, Probably my favorite finish for the younger end of Glenmorangie. Apricots, peaches, almonds, apricot kernels. And I wrote here, it's very long lasting. Now I thought I should, do, I'm gonna keep trying to do that um, just so you can get a better, uh, a better idea of the color. Now look at the reflection, isn't that interesting? But uh, hopefully that gives you a better sense of the shade uh, that we're working with here. As I mentioned, it's on the coppery end of things. And uh, maybe even the bottle, that'll help somewhat too. So if you can get a sense of that, I'll turn it to the side. Yeah, hopefully that helps. Yeah, there we go. Nice hue. And I, you know, there's probably a little bit of, uh, possibly, probably, I won't say probably, possibly a little bit of coloring in there. This is the, uh, the standard um, release for the Legend series, as is Dutac, uh, the Dutac. So the two of them uh, will be present in uh, every major airport. And um, uh, there are certainly enough Glenmorangie fans that, uh, there'll be business travelers and tourists who will pick up a bottle of this every time they go because they love the brand. There are Glen Morangy fans out there. I'm one of them. So they may want to make sure that the color is consistent. All right, so I'll leave it at that. It's a possibility. Um, and if if you're from Germany um, or Denmark, uh, Russia, etc., it may actually tell you on the back of the bottle whether or not there is any. So let me know. 
give me a little comment and let me know what, what it says on the bottles uh, in those countries. Yeah, there's the caramel coming through now. All right, well, let's get on to the water. Got about 25 milliliters. I think I can safely add a good couple of milliliters in there. We'll let it mix up a little bit. Now, I'm really excited about this brand. Um, I've thought about it a lot, and I have to say that um, LVMH, that's the owner of Glenmorangie, who in turn own Ardbeg, um, they're doing a great job with uh, both of them. Now, the only criticism I will um, unleash here uh, is that, boy, you know, it's, there's a big jump between 12 and 18 years old. Uh, 12 is the oldest, um, well, the older of the young, uh, the older, the oldest young, <laughs> the oldest young Glenmorangie, 12 years old. Uh, so 10 is standard and then 12 uh, for the um, uh, the extra matured range and then you jump up to the 18 and it's a, quite a jump in price uh, of course you've got the the, um, the limited edition the private edition uh, every year that uh, hits that mid price point um, but it doesn't carry an age statement so even if it were 40% or 43%, I would sure love to see, uh, say, a 15-year-old. Um, and, you know, maybe just um, uh, go with the bourbon. Glenmorangie works really, really well with ex-bourbon casks, and they have a beautiful uh, forest of their own in the Ozarks. All right. So that's all mixed up now, and I've let my comment uh, be be aired. You know, and then from 18 you go up to 25, so another big jump there too. So there's a couple of opportunities for Glenmorangie to fill um, price points that they don't have anything. And if you're in Canada, uh, I think you go from ooh, a little bit beyond $200 for the 18-year-old. And then it goes up to like eight hundred dollars for twenty five, um, so that's a big jump. And um, I think they're number six for single malts, um, maybe number five by now. Who knows? But um, uh, if they're trying to grow the brand, uh, you need to have uh, product uh, facings on the shelves. Um, so right now. Most stores will carry 10, and then the 12 range, that's another three bottles, and then the 18, perhaps. Uh, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, five facings. Then you look at, at uh, the other Glens, the big Glens, and they're going to have 10, eight, 10 facings uh, in big liquor stores. Um, anyway, it's a tactic, right? Uh, some of them, it's like, okay, there's a 12 and then there's a 13 or there's a 12 and a 14 and a 15 and, and an 18 and, and a 19 and a 21. Uh, that's a little bit overboard. But, you know, if you at least get that sort of three-year um, split, it seems to work. Okay, on to the palette, on to the nosing, I should say. The nosing for Tain, Glenmorin G, the Tain. Uh, with water this time and we'll have another short advertisement right here Welcome back Tain with water now onto the nose Still gorgeous Not much has changed here. It's just gotten a little bit fruitier And those citrus fruits have gotten riper. It's almost as though you're, you're putting in um, tinned mandarin oranges Um and lemon, maybe lemon candies rather than like a fresh lemon. And there's still a touch of chocolate in there. And what I wrote here was that it coaxes out more vanilla and caramel. Um, and then 
there's a, a much bigger peachy note here. So maybe like peaches and cream. All right, well, let's get on to the taste now. Cheers again. For a mid ABV, this takes water so well. Um, with water, more cooked fruitiness. You may get a little bit of cocoa. Um, so a little bit of almost dryness, bitter, a little bit of bitterness in there. It's nice though. And the finish now, this is um, fantastic. The finish really, the aftertaste really gets outstanding with this with a bit of water. Uh, it does get slightly drier, but then you get this huge, huge, huge uh, kind of apricot flavor, including the kind of almond-like apricot kernel. Um, that's the dryness uh, and it's really really long lasting this is what I love most about this particular offering um, so on to the scoring now for the teen from Glenmorangie what is that going to be the whiskey whistle whiskey score for this one uh, Glenmorangie teen is going to be hmm well I wrote it down there it's gonna be 90 out of a hundred so 90 out of a hundred Glenmorangie Tain from Glenmorangie from LVMH. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glenmorangie Tain. I write here, it's one of my faves, and uh, in a quotation, I wrote apricot. I didn't finish what I was supposed to write, and that was going to be an apricot delight. So, an apricot delight, a little bit of peachy in there too. Uh, peaches and cream on the, on the, on the nose. Uh, develops into apricotty uh, sweetness on the on the palate and also in the finish really really nice okay so stay tuned for oops sorry about the noise stay tuned for the tarlogan there it is that's what's coming next and uh, thanks for tuning in I'll put my face over here for a minute <laughs> I always seem to be out of the picture when I post this on Facebook so cheers we will see you for the Tarlogan. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe right down there.